Hey there guys and ghouls, it's your girl Jack coming to you with yet another video. This video <laughs> is a little different in the fact that when I started it, it was meant to be a speed build. And it kind of is. <laughs> You'll see what I mean here shortly. Um, I kept having a lot of issues with decorating, like things would only go in certain spots or something. I don't know, it was something with the game. I had to close the game multiple times. Plus, if you can't tell by my voice right now, I'm sick. <laughs> so I was very, very sick. Having those problems, I was having the game crash. And so I kind of got, there are parts you're gonna see where I didn't <laughs> record what was going on. Um, but hey, it, it is what it is. This is our little hobby room. It actually came to me completely unplanned. I was doing a build for a whole nother vibe. Um, if you were on my live stream on Sunday, you know that I started my shabby shanty kitchen for cake parties and cooking parties. Well, it turned into a whole thing and I have a farm there you'll see you'll see I have videos ready to go for it um and I was looking around and I'm like what do I do with all of this equipment you know like the fabric press and the painting table and I was like oh why don't I make like a hobby room I had this pink and tealish wallpaper that I got from buying the $50,000 plot that you need to start expanding in order to get the gazebo so I was like okay we'll add a little girly vibe in here because most of this house is green stone you know and I was like let's go full girly witchy let's put in those cute little things the accents of the moons and as you'll see later I actually finished this build did like a little spinny spin, left, came back, <laughs> changed some things, realized, you know, no, no, no. And I went to the shop, to Tisha's shop, and there happened to be <laughs> a few pieces that were just perfect for this build. So this build took like three or four twists and turns that you're going to see there at the end. Um, and I hope... <laughs> You'll see it like I, I don't even know why I was like, oh, this is cute because the end result is super duper cute, <laughs> pretty, super proud of it. And with these rooms that are getting done in this build, we will have a complete interior finished for this witchy cottage i do have to do the outdoors still um but i need a lot of items for that so that will come later i'm not sure when i have to grind i need lots of candles i need a lot more plants i need trees so bear with me we will get that out give you some you know witchy cottage exterior vibes and ideas I just don't have the items yet in fact my next big build after I bring you the shabby shanty will be my hunting lodge that will be in honor of my dad and I have so much grinding to do because this house took a lot a lot of plants a lot of furniture a lot of rugs and my inventory is basically completely depleted. So we gotta build up because this is, I'm keeping this house. I'm keeping the shabby shanty because that is going, I don't wanna give too much away yet for that. So just know that that is gonna be a permanent part of this and it will be a part that y'all will get to interact with maybe in the very, very near future. So, if you are not in my Discord, there will be a link with this video. Make sure you 
join because we're going to have quite the hoedown. <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna have all the fun over on that other property of mine. And if you want to make friends on the game, come join my Discord community and get ready for those signups because yeah, I think we're going to have a lot of time and we're going to make a lot of money together. <laughs> Maybe some of you who are familiar with this game will understand. Y'all, I am sorry. I know my voice is really rough. I know I'm breathing hard, but my passion right now, what gets me through is my love of bringing these creations for you. And I could not wait any longer to get this to you. So please, please bear with me. Forgive me for breathing like I'm running a marathon or something. If that ends up being heard on this video. <laughs> All right, so these pieces, I wanted them to be girly. I wanted stations. This station over here, we're going to have a little gaming area, you know, to play a game with your friend. Or maybe if my boy Ruth comes over, over here in the one corner, there's an area where we're going to create fabric and make the cutest witchy wardrobe Kilima. Kalima, however you say it, has ever seen. Um, this area that I was just working on changes a lot, as you will see by the end of the video. We use this floral, I call it floral, is it floral? Um, flooring, because like I said, I'm in this room to be really girly. This area over here changes a lot too. A lot. Like the big two areas that change are this and the other corner. We have the desk over here for we're going to be writing some spells, having, you know, a cup of herbal tea, relaxing. Uh, I wonder, we need some kind of musical device. I do have the guitar in the living room, but I'm hoping like we get like a record player or some kind of something in the game. I don't even know if this era has that kind of thing. Um, I know there's no television or anything like that. Um, and then we have the painting table, you know, because we are DIY queen. We're going to paint all the things. This thing, <laughs> the shelves, styling shelves, especially in a game like this, they, it's just, it's a pain in my butt. I usually go with something small and a candle. I was trying for this alarm clock for some reason. I have no idea why, because it's clearly way too big <laughs> and I struggle for a minute. I think I ended up finding a place. I did find a place for it over here on the desk. But yeah, these are like a lot of my favorite colors. Like my favorite colors, other than green, obviously. My favorite colors are like aqua and rich blues like we have here. Purples, kind of like your gem tones. Purples and greens and t blues. So my favorite color. So this room is really my vibe and it's kind of a step I would like to go in real life where everything is super, super neutral. We have a lot of color in my office lately though. You'll see that soon on a live. These things, I don't know, there's like a spell book or something I saw my friend have in a build. But I have not got that yet. I don't even know how to get it. So I'm using one of these. They are like things you get when you upgrade your plot. Kind of as a representation of that until I get one. So, you know, we're over there writing our spells. Then this clock clearly matches the tone of the room. And I couldn't use it anywhere else. So I was like, hey, we will use it in here. I think we're getting super close to where the chaos starts to happen. You'll see here in a moment, a chair here. I think I do try to change this wall over here for a second, which is hysterical because in the end, it's completely different. Yeah, I'm like, mm, no, it doesn't work. 
let's put it back. <laughs> it was a struggle. I hardly have anything for the walls. And I'm like, ooh, ooh, okay. Let's get that in the right spot. <laughs> here we go. We're gonna do a little spin here, to show off the room, which is very, 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 very basic. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're gonna see it change this is the second version but it still was not right and then I go to the Kilma village and we will get to yes the final version of this room get the double shelves over there <laughs> We could put the clock over above the game table. Oh no, this isn't the final version of the room. I'm, I lied. All right, this, I believe, is the final version. We're gonna, as we spin around, you're gonna see I moved the photo of Reth to my bedroom. And oh, you know what? I think I'm wrong again. I don't think this is the final version. I don't think it is because this is the final version. Oh my gosh. Yes, <laughs> there it is. There's that dramatic change. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys see? hot mess express over here this is the final version of the room i did my bedroom i may change the wall there put a screen to block off that bathroom from my bedroom because it's super tiny and doesn't know when you'll be seeing me pee <laughs> and this is it this is it there's the bathroom everybody has asked to see y'all i am so sorry this was such a mess and <laughs> i hope you all know i hope you have the most wonderful day because you deserve it and i i will catch you on the next hopefully less messy one until then bye guys